Everybody, it's Victor. It's time for another Eden Run here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Wednesday, Mosh Pit. I hope your midweeks are going off to a fantastic start. We did not have another video across 3,000 likes yet, but I wanted to announce the next like streak goal, which is going to be the TM Trainer Run, this time going to be on the YouTube save file, like we did with the Glitch Chaos Run. It's just going to only just raise the stakes even more, and I think it's going to be absolute insanity. Obviously, the Glitch Chaos Run got a little bit trolled by the game, but we did have some people answer with ways how they would improve it, which we'll talk about in a moment from last week's question of the episode. But first off, here's your picture of the day sent in here by, I'm going to say, Yako Biashi, maybe Jacko Biashi. Top thread was, I have a confession. And then they also said, I watched it almost every day at noon on my 144-inch theater room projector screen. It's my pre-workout ritual and this one definitely is the lead so far anyway for the largest screen that anyone has ever watched these episodes on so thank you very much Yako Biashi again I hope I really am saying that name right I'm probably not but yeah and of course we had the follow-up from yesterday's crazy crazy episode oh we're starting to de-bizzle oh my gosh our, our stats though uh, Echo Charlie Mike Kilo uh, 16 LA so yeah 1.86 tiers is about as horrible as it gets unless we get a tears up pill that we're starting with and we got a full health pill okay well as you saw right there placebo is our starting item that we have in our active slot and it's going to just simply copy a it's like blank card except for pills now the problem with that is of course <coughs> as you just see right here uh is the fact that it's it modulates to whatever pill you take so obviously the full health pill is very valuable, especially when we have a sack room right here, because it's an instant full heal no matter what. So repentance is like, yeah, well, that's a little bit too good. Let's go ahead and turn that into a uh, into a 12 room cooldown, which is essentially like you can use it once per floor, which I mean, <coughs> some people might find that to be kind of, uh, <coughs> excuse me, kind of appealing, um, but I don't. <laughs> so in other words, I guess. In other words, probably not going to get that much use out of placebo. Um, it is nice that we have a full health pill. Now, Acid Baby, on the other hand, might give us the ability to maybe get some Pog plays here. Um, I mean, our stats are so bad right now. Like, we have just barely passable movement speed, horrific tears rate. Our damage is awful, but of course, there's no damage pills. Um, and... It, you know, there, there's only there's only one place we can really go at this point, which is up. Now, I know that people are going to say this. going to say, oh, that's hypocritical. How come you don't take pills, but then all of a sudden you're considering it right now? Well, the thing is here is that with placebo, the upside, you can actually kind of justify, or at least I can kind of justify the upside here, just based on the fact that we have the ability to give ourselves positive stats on a regular basis. So if we find a positive pill, we can, we can act on it. Whereas if we're sitting inside of a room that just has like, you know, one or two pills, that might be a copy then if it's positive is it really worth the risk taking one versus like you know not losing your stats and then if it is a stat now you have no way of actually improving it whereas unlimited pills essentially which you're only limited by having some kind of uh of energy uh drain on your active item i think that this this is more justifiable in my mind anyway the high priestess was actually gonna be great for us in the first four boss Got ourselves a yave and a bomba uh we don't care about the I know where the secret room is. It's going to be to the left of the room. That is uh, that is to the left of the gap here from the... Uh, yeah, it's, it's over here. You can see where the arrow of the pots are kind of pointing towards the direction of the secret room. <coughs> we got triple keys here. Um, now, at first glance, you would think that the secret room would be there, but obviously the secret rooms cannot be adjacent to the boss room. And yeah, we're going to absolutely destroy Monstro here. I'm not even going to give him time to jump. I'm just going to use the High Priestess card. Very useful. We do get some movement speed and shot speed again. So already we're starting to improve a little bit. <clears throat> but as far as improving our damage, yeah. It's going to come down to our tiers rate being priority number one. Um, there's literally no reason for us to even play the sack room right now. I mean, we could maybe, maybe get a penny, but it's not really worth it in my opinion. So as I talked about in the opener, of course, we do have, uh, e yes, I'm going to do that just because placebo at the end of the day, 
I know I just got done talking about placebo, but like it's seriously not that important to me. Um, if we didn't have any other active items that we uh, that we could substitute it with, then sure. But like literally any other active item is fine by me. Uh, but as we talked about in the in the opener here, the next like street goal is going to be a TM Trainer run. This time on the YouTube save file, which means I'm just going to simply start with TM Trainer and let's just see what happens. And uh, that's something that I'm nervous about, but I know that a lot of people were kind of let down with the glitch chaos run, which I maintain was definitely not my fault because it's like I, it's it's random. I mean that's the whole that's the whole point of it. It could have been amazing. Game chose to troll us a little bit. You know what? We wouldn't expect it any other way. Um, but obviously TM Trainer is a is a whole different level. It's a whole whole new can of worms. Um, good bomb for the battery pack that would give us a a significant amount of soul hearts here. <coughs> um, broken modem, broken modem. Honestly, like I'm still kind of iffy about. But the last couple times that I've had it just kind of show up on the like if we if we randomly reroll and stuff it actually has a lot of benefits and i know people have been telling me that for literal years um that being said i'm still not going to take it over like you know a candle item or you know navigation but if there's really nothing else i mean i guess i could consider broken modem um but going on to last week's question of the episode talking about the glitch chaos run and i simply asked what would you do to improve the glitch chaos run and uh, the most upvoted comment, there's a lot of upvotes on this on this thread because obviously, again, people were a little bit let down about it, which I was too. I was really hoping it was going to be bonkers. Uh, but the most upvoted comment came in from, I'm going to say, Mahai Mazi or M Mahi Mazi. Curse of Blind ruined it. It made Glitch kind of re redundant, so I would get rid of the curse. That way it'd be much more fun. Yeah, but see, the thing is, is that, like, it's more fun when it's blind. <laughs> like, that was the whole point of the Glitch Chaos run was that it's chaos and we don't know what we're taking. So, you know, just Glitch Chaos, just having glitch, glitch Crown and Chaos, we've had that before. Like, that's nothing, That's nothing, in my opinion, that's spectacular or interesting. I think it's much more interesting and fun whenever you have, like, you know, no clue what we're going to be taking. Um, so, yeah, Curse of Blind was absolutely part of the, was the whole point of that whole thing. So, um, and it just didn't work out in our favor. I think that if, I think if the run had been just crazy, wacky, like, bonkers off the rails, I don't think anyone would have really complained. Um, but yeah, you know, you got to remember these late, the live street goals are just for fun anyway. At the end of the day, it's a great way to support the channel and also give people a reason to like the videos on top of having, a, you know, just fun goals and stuff. So people tend to take them a little bit too seriously, but that's YouTube for you. Second most upvoted comment came in from Souplord32, who said, add Sacred Orb into the mix so it's extra fun. Or maybe if there's no trinket, or maybe even in the no trinket so there's no active items. P.S. This was posted on my birthday, so thanks for the awesome present. Happy birthday, Souplord32. And the third most upvoted comment came in from The Mystic Show, who said, Damocles added with it would be insane. With Chaos Glitched, you can give yourself a one-up to make it slightly easier. And modifying it, like, I just didn't want to grant myself too many items, you know, because then it kind of is like, mm, you get into, like, the, this is, like, more of a not challenge type deal. And I wanted it to be challenging, and I definitely wanted it to be enjoyable as well. Um, but that was predicated on us, like, you know, getting some wacky, crazy items. And certainly the lack of stat-ups that we had in that run was definitely the biggest challenge that we faced, um, which was something that I predicted that we would see as a possibility of, of ruining things or at least making things extremely difficult, um, which it was. <laughs> it was, but that's the whole point, of, that's the whole point of, of blind items is that we can't – I can't sit there and just cherry-pick the best items out of that because everyone – then everyone, everyone's just kind of like, well, what was even the point of, of doing this? It's just chaos and, and glitch, glitch crown. That's that's not that's not unique. So thank you very much, everybody, on that one. And as far as like TM Trainer goes, obviously we have no friggin' clue what's gonna happen with TM Trainer. It literally just we could die in the first room, and then that's hey, that's that's just it. What a way to go. Uh, we do get some Victor robes here. D Bizzle's feasting right now. Lover's card. I mean, yeah, there you go. D Bizzle. Look at D Bizzle making the big time plays. Now we're talking, son. Um, we could, I mean, we might as well take Succubus now that our damage and HP is, is, you know, sorted. Yeah. Oh, 
But that being said, you know, if we end up doing another Glitch Chaos run, if people want to see it not blind next time, then, you know, that's something that people can leave feedback on. It was just, I think that the whole point, at least this iteration of it, was the fact that I can't see what I'm taking. And, uh, you know, that was the whole kind of wackiness challenge of the, of the whole thing. Um, but as always, everything's always under a constant, a constant scrutiny. Everyone wants to, uh, you know, provide feedback and stuff on the channel, and everything's under the constant state of evaluation and reevaluation. And uh, whatever, whatever way that people decide they enjoy, or that something that will be made even more enjoyable, is definitely something I'm down for. And they're breaking even there on the curse room, and it turns out we could have bombed our way into the curse room. But at least Succubus is going to help us out a little bit with damage. I'm not going to use the Satanic Bible unless we absolutely have to. Uh, we get Venus or Soul. Soul gives us mapping, but I mean Venus, Venus with a charm though. It also removes curses. Uh, but the charm, the charm and HP is too good, though. I can't, I can't pass that up. Venus is just, this is so strong. There's a store credit, which is going to give us a free shop item. So Venus is going to give Isaac the ability to charm enemies as they look at him. Uh, yeah. Let's see if any of these are on sale first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I think that. I think we take Nun's Habit, obviously. Nun's Habit's going to feed us with uh, HP. As you saw right there, Venus. Venus basically cleared that room. D-Bizzle on fire. Oh, my goodness. I don't know if luck rating has anything to do with D-Bizzle's payout. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Especially with considering that we have negative luck. But, man, D-Bizzle. I'm talking about it. He's on, he's on the post-Christmas high right now. Must have gotten what he wanted for Christmas. We're going to come over here and get ourselves an orbital, which at least is not going to co cost us a, uh, an HP upgrade. They didn't use the Satanic Bible yet. There we go. We use the Satanic Bible and top ourselves off. And uh, yeah, we're still keeping pace despite our tears rate. Curse the Unknown, of course, as soon as we get ourselves a sack room and pass on soul. Um, obviously, we know we have full we have full HP right now. We have full hearts. Um, but it's not great for us to play the sack room currently, in my opinion, just because of the simple fact that we have such horrific tears rate. We won't be able to effectively defend ourselves on low HP for now. So what we need to do is we need to essentially just go just do this do this floor as usual and then double back we're, we're giving up the ability to possibly get an angel deal uh, item or two before the boss which is fine because you know the chances of us getting one are so low anyway but great little snipe there uh, but at the same time it would be nice to get some more to get you know a little bit of extra money so we can go to the store don't have to double back that was a great block by uh, infamy right there this is this is what you want charm for. Having the globins just kind of run into each other, and that's it. Succubus doing a good job at kind of culling enemies here when we can't fire very very fast. I mean, we're attacking 1.86 times a second, which is uh, not good. It's uh, it's how we like to say in the biz, no bueno. One bomb for seven cents is a great deal. what D-Bizzle is going to provide us here with. Got another Demon Heart, so at least we have a little bit of uh, a little bit of extra... We have a little bit of extra firepower when it comes to our currency for the Sack Room, especially given our fa the, the fact that we have a, um, a full charge on the Satanic Bible. Now, we have not found the Item Room or the Shop, which means at this point they're probably going to be adjacent to a room from one another. Usually what that means... We can just keep finding nothing on the floor, I guess. It's also also fine. Infestation 2 doing a lot of work here. Thanks to uh, Succubus spawning them. I 
And our base damage is also it's it's passable for now as far as our as far as the base levels are concerned, obviously, but it ain't great. It is not great. And uh, yeah, mom's bottle of pills, no thank you. I mean, card against humanity is it's impossible not to take just because it's so much money. I'm not going to do this until at least we go see what's inside of the devil deal if we get one first. Um, we're going to have to use it in that other room with the full charge. You know, it could provide us with a lot of hearts as well as long as we get the petrified poop. So we're guaranteed to pretty much get a full tap on the sacrifice room. No matter if we get a devil deal or not, which, you know, with Invicta Luck, you don't kind of expect it at this point. At least you definitely shouldn't expect it. I was going to Blackheart bomb him. I don't care. Oh, we had a regular Soul Heart, apparently. There we go. So now we can use Satanic Bible. We do get Growth Hormones, which gives us a damage upgrade. Um, a little Abba Dabba Ding Dong. Hmm. I mean, Lil, Lil Abaddon did help us out quite a lot in the Glitch Chaos run. At least I think it was the Glitch Chaos run that we had him in. Could also play this Demon Judgment quite a bit, actually. The magician. Yeah, I don't really want to go more than that. Okay, so we go to the sack room. Now, one thing we need is we need a red heart, a half red heart specifically to help us out and telling us exactly when we're at low health because right now I have no clue what our HP is. Um, and that's another reason why I didn't want to take little Abaddon because I don't think that it's worth us going down to, you know, unknown amount of health whenever we can't see it. Uh, versus, like, if we, if we get a red heart upgrade, at least... At least we can see where our we can see where our HP lies. We're gonna use the card against humanity here, and let's hope that we get an early uh, petrified poop. Now this is gonna take a while, and I definitely recommend just fast forwarding through this part because yeah, with this tears rate, yeah, um, we we're effectively giving up boss rush, which we were not gonna make anyway. I mean, we we were having a good pace at the first two floors there, but obviously with tougher enemies and tougher bosses. With our DPS t not really going up that much, going to be kind of limited. So uh, come back in like five minutes when we're done with this. So we started at like 14, 1430 or something like that. So yeah, should be out of here by 1930, I'm guessing. Maybe maybe not that long, in like 1730. But we really, 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 really want to get a petrified poop here. We get a nickel, which is nice. Realistically, you shouldn't be shooting both of these at the same time without Petrified Poop because you might waste a stack or two if you do end up seeing the uh, Petrified Poop. But at the same time, you get double the clear speed, especially when we're on this abysmal tears rate that we've got. Really wish Succubus can just destroy them for us, but... It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. So I hope everyone's Christmas breaks were awesome and uh, filled with a lot more, a lot more fun presents than the, what's in this room. This is kind of the, we're kind of, kind of at the like you know this is this is the almost the halftime break in the in the game here. We're not even in mid game yet, but you know it's this is like it's a perfect time to go get a refreshment, maybe go use the bathroom. You can definitely see why you would want to after seeing this room. Reflect on some good Christmas presents you might have had. All that kind of good stuff. I did end up buying myself a Christmas present this year. Uh, a couple Christmas presents, actually. They're all they're they're all Godzilla related, of course. And uh, you know, I don't. I rarely ever rarely ever buy myself anything. Um, I enjoy I enjoy buying stuff for friends and family. That's that's what makes me feel good. Not buying for myself, but this year because of like you know just. It's such a fantastic time to be a Godzilla fan that uh, I was like, it's kind of reignited my 
it's not that I didn't love Godzilla already, but like, you know, it, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I like him, but you know, it's kind of like a given type thing. It, it's like, it's kind of like, think of it like you're like having your favorite band, right? Like, you know, you know, I love Metallica and it's like, yeah, you know, I love Metallica, but you know, I'm not going to listen to them 24 seven. Like that's, that's lunacy in my opinion, even though some people like that do exist. Um, but when they pull, when they put out a new album, you're like, oh, I'm, yeah, I re this is the reason why I like Metallica. Same thing goes with Godzilla. Like, you know, my, my, my enjoyment of Godzilla has never waned. It's just kind of like, I'm not going to watch Godzilla 24 seven, but when, when a new banger movie comes out, brother, sister, you got me there. I'm gonna be right there. It reignites the passion, you know? So I had to, I, I bought myself a, uh, a signed photo of um, of the first two Godzilla body actors, um, and unfortunately, uh, Ken Kempichiro he he passed away a couple weeks ago, which was very sad. And that kind of like I was I was bummed I never got to meet him at like a, a convention or anything. Um, but I was like, yeah, I, I kind of want something like that. Like, especially with, with minus one, you know, kicking butt and still kicking butt at the, at the box office. Like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get, get on the ball for Godzilla merch. Gotta get my Godzilla memorabilia. And I was absolutely right. It is going to be five minutes. Woo. -hoo. Yeah. 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 Don't know Petrify Poop, of course. Uh, it would have been nice game if we had gotten it by now and, you know that it's going to drop at like the last possible second just because you know that's isaac i'd almost rather it not drop at this point because it's, that's right poop loses a lot of its value as soon as you leave the caves so we did all that for zero soul hearts and like 20 cents oh excuse me excuse me <laughs> half of a soul heart my bad hey we got a half heart there we go right at the very end so is it worth it? I mean, yeah, it's worth it if you don't look at like you know how much time it took you to do things. Okay, so we can buy, we can get that. Hopefully, we get ourselves a key here. We didn't. <coughs> I'll double tend the rock for a second. All right, sacrifice room. We're going to need some big time plays here. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, eight. Redemption. I think this gives us a key, right? Yeah, so this gives us a key, which means that we can go. We're not on the half heart yet. We would, I would know if we were on a half heart because Isaac would leave the puddle at the door. So this gives us another full charge here. Thank you, Gilded Key. Really hoping we're going to get more hearts out of that. I'm checking, I'm checking for the pee puddle. We don't have one yet. And this should be the last one that we need. And it's 30 cents. All right. I think we have one soul heart left. Uh, I'm going to use the Ace of Clubs, actually. I don't care too much about the, the torn card, obviously. So, <clears throat> okay. Yeah, so we, we are, I think we have one soul heart left. I think. Um, obviously, Redemption's just a... This is a real, a real bummer, especially with this build, because obviously we have, um, we've got, uh, the satanic Bible, so we don't really gain a lot out of getting redemption. Cause e even if we use the satanic Bible and take the boss item, it's going to ruin redemption, which defeats the whole purpose of the item, which is the reason why I don't really like it. And curse of the XL. Oh boy. All right. So that was absolutely the worst possible scenario was curse the XL here. Um, namely because now we, 
are forced to use the Satanic Bible. Unless we find our boss room early, we are essentially forced to use the Satanic Bible, and that essentially means that we're not going to get a, another boss item for the rest of this run. Which means that our... the Which means that the ability of us to get a tiers upgrade is now almost virtually zero. I guess I didn't really have to open that. I could let Succubus done it. Speed down. And yeah, now's the time when we start taking pills because it's, again, it's clear that we're not going to get anything in terms of a tiers upgrade at this point. So we kind of have to make our own, make our own advantage here. And uh, it really, really hurts that we don't get another chance for another devil deal. Thanks to Curse the XL. We also lose a shop, and now with this with this amount of money, it's undoubtedly going to be a greed fight, which means that this is going to be even rougher to get out of. So are we facing struggle bus status? Yes, absolutely. Um, it's not necessarily as great of a struggle bus as some of the other runs. It's certainly it's certainly not like last week, you know, but it's uh not it ain't looking good. There we go. Charm effect. Obviously, Venus is now starting to pay off for us. I, I mean, we have to use a Satanic Bible if we, even if we want to get us a, a Devil Deal. We don't have the HP to just sit there and wait, which is the reason why I said it really kind of depends on us finding the boss room early, and that's going to determine whether or not we get a chance for an actual boss item. We didn't find it early enough, so, yeah, yeah. So, hopefully, 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 we find the boss room soon and maybe get lucky and get the pact out of it. And yeah, this is dead end. All right. The bizzle. We need. Uh, we need some of that. Some of that good D bizzle help here. We're just gonna go get this greed fight over with. Surprisingly, not a greed fight. Infested. We get a sun card. Might as well. So, yeah, and we we went the longest possible way. So there, were, and, and actually, now that look at now that I look at the map, there was no way for us to go find the boss room super early. We would have had to gone this route anyway, minus a couple rooms there. So was, everything everything was not in our favor here for this this floor. Get a luck upgrade. I know it's the, it's the age old meme. <laughs> Get a horse pill, tears up. So that was red and white. I gotta remember that. But uh, yeah, you know, you know, when Sinvicta starts taking pills, you know things are desperate. That's where we're at right now. And thankfully, we got a tears up horse pill, which greatly, greatly reduces the struggle bus now. It's it's not a it's not a it's not a, a cure, to be clear, but it definitely helps out a whole lot. We have one key to get into one of our item rooms. We're probably going to have to go resort to the sack room. Because we we really cannot afford to I'm gonna be lazy here. We can't afford to Go fight mom without the Empress card. I mean, like, we would be able to do it, but if we want to maintain enough enough HP to, like, you know, get a devil deal if we get one, then uh, I'd rather use the Empress card. <clears throat> we'll get answers. Um, yeah, so we're going to... We're going to fight the boss right now. Monstro 2 is not who I wanted to see. Kind of hoping that the flies would... The flies that he spawns, if he's charmed, would deal damage to himself. Of course, we are getting some help here from Infestation 2. Infestation 2 has been low-key the, the MVP of this run. 
D Bizzle's also helped. And, and you know what? Infamy has also blocked two shots that we would have absolutely gotten tagged for. So, I oh, didn't, didn't, get, didn't get rid of that one, but also did, I, I also did nothing to dodge that. Yep. Necronomicon. All right. All right. Now we get to go all the way back and try to find our way to the uh, promised land of maybe getting an angel deal, a good angel deal item from the sack room. Obviously, the fool card is there, but we're not going to take it because I need the Empress card to fight Mom if we wish to have any HP left over for it. Any HP to be left over for a devil deal. Friend finder, I'm sorry, it's not the answer here. Okay, Skinny on Mushroom gives us a movement speed upgrade. Obviously, the biggest thing is going to be the tiers rate upgrade. We get max level tiers for a very, very small uh, damage down. Now, the damage down that you get from Skinny on Mushroom is heavily magnified the higher that your damage is. So I'd much rather lose 0.72 damage at like, you know, we're going down from like 5 to 4 damage versus like we had 15 damage and then we're going down from 15 to like 10. Um, Scorpio is okay. Squeezy's going to give us some HP at least. So that's, I mean, that provides us with more currency that we can use. I say currency, but more HP that we can use for the sack room. So it was an excellent reroll for Skinny on a Mushroom. Now the question is, do we play the sacrifice room? I think we kind of have to, to be honest. We don't have enough HP to go all the way right now. See, I can't take that game. Yeah, see, I, I can't take that either. I should probably drop the Gilded Key, to be honest. It's actually hurting us more. Soul Heart. Okay, so at least we got our Soul Hearts back. And that's kind of the big thing there. Another Yave, that's good. I see the thing is I didn't want the gilded key anymore, so thanks. Okay. We have our Empress card. Not really sure where I mean our super secret room could be anywhere, and that's another kind of a bummer of uh of having the uh first the XL here. It takes the most obvious locations for secret rooms and super secret rooms and kind of just turns them on their head. With this with the tiers upgrade now, I know I made a big deal about having the about having the Empress card, but at this point at this point with our tiers rate being fixed now, we just need damage. And I think a strategical uh, negative play is also in order here. Kind of make up for that damage loss that we had picking up skinny on mushroom. That's going to help out with our spider damage. It's going to help out with succubus damage, and also, of course, our just our overall damage. Yeah, that was hesitation on my part. There's a tears upgrade right there, which we're already capped, so it doesn't matter. This would be our first guppy item, and yeah, infamy is just tearing it up. Um. Honestly, I'm going to pass on Guppy's Collar in favor of Redemption. I know I just took a dump on Redemption, but we don't need Guppy's Collar. Okay. So we get a little bit of a damage upgrade there. No High Priestess card. Okay, okay. Echo Chamber is... You know, Echo Chamber... We haven't used any teleportation skills um, or cards, so the only thing we've re really used is a, a Tears upgrade, but even then, it's not going to register. I'm not going to take the Bone Heart. Uh, it doesn't really, doesn't really mean anything to us, especially with the Satanic Bible going in the late game. I feel like Eel and Chubb. 
We're going to try hard not to use the Satanic Bible because we really, obviously, we're at full HP and we don't need to. But also, would love to get some more damage here. Although, I guess using it for... A, if you use Satanic Bible and get a Devil Deal item, it's probably not the worst thing in the world. That's, I mean, that's just how Isaac goes. Like, it, your strategies greatly shift in priorities as you get stronger on a run. I mean, that's the whole thing about roguelites, too, is, you know, knowing how to adapt and how to just kind of adjust your strategies whenever it comes to, like, hey, we don't need this stat anymore, so now we can afford to do this. We, we, we take Ouija board. And honestly, give me the goat. Give me, give me Jello. Jello is quickly becoming S tier, like double S tier for me. It, it's just a, it is a better incubus that you can reuse over and over again if you have something like, say, Nun's Habit. We do. Um, and honestly, I think that Jello is probably the comeback item of the year. He says as it goes in here with not a full charge. I was kind of banking I was getting combat, and then I went in autopilot mode for a second. But Jello is seriously just incredible. Um, and I think absolutely worth it. Even over a soul heart generator like you know, like uh, Satanic Bible, I think it's I think I just think it's phenomenal. I guess we'll take Dark Prince's crown, even though it gives us absolutely zero advantages right now. If we end up ha somehow having being able to activate it, it's just going to supercharge our DPS. Chakra Tears, of course, is going to give us a much easier angle of attack. So we don't have to worry about environmental objects impeding our tears because they're spectral. And I don't think it's that much of a hot take to say that that Jello is just a better Incubus. Um, it fires exactly as as fast as Isaac does, and it is a it's an item that you can that you can just not only melee with obviously for the initial summoning, but it also essentially it just always is going to hit it has homing it has like a spoon bender built into it whereas you know it, i mean incubus doesn't <laughs> just straight up just doesn't um d bizzle of course also was kind of a another factor in uh, me deciding to abandon the satanic bible for jello which is kind of crazy to think about because like maybe like a year ago i would never have done that Infamy with another fantastic block for us. Would love to play Sack Room here, but we just simply cannot. Carry card. Yeah, it's better than a golden pill. Oh, man. Venus just doing work here. Ebizzle might give us a little bit of extra help for this last guaranteed devil deal here. Or not. And of course, we found the, the god synergy of all god synergies with Jello and Epiphora and Sacred Heart Brimstone. That was, uh, yeah. That was unexpected. And we took a little bit too much damage there, so we can't really take anything. Yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna get the redemption arc. Re redemption, redemption arc here. Curse of Blind doesn't really matter. But even even with redemption paying out now, like it's our damage is is not phenomenal here. Seven point six two is barely, I would say, passable on end game levels. Um, if we still had our our horrific tears rate, we'd be in a lot of trouble. And I definitely would not have come down to shoal. Um, but as it stands, I think with Jello and hopefully D Bizzle starts making big time plays like that. No, then I think that we can we can definitely stabilize here. 
Should mention really quickly, it's uh, been finalized now, by the way, that second raid Shadow Legend stream uh, that I was talking about last week and the week before is going to be happening on the 28th, so two days from now. Um, basically, I think I think it's a Thursday. Um, is it is it tomorrow? Hang on. I gotta I gotta look at the Yeah, it is tomorrow, yeah. I was off by one day. Um so yeah, so that'll be happening on YouTube again. It'll be here, it'll be another live stream. It's gonna be sandwiched in between an Isaac run and another Isaac run. Um I'm gonna be streaming with another raid content creator who does only raid. Uh, that way uh, he's gonna be able to kind of guide me and answer the questions that I can't answer, but um, you know, it's really kind of unprecedented and unheard of that raid wanted to run it back with a content creator so soon after running like usually they do like one ad campaign per content creator per month if you're lucky enough to, to actually get like you know a deal and uh they liked it so much they wanted to run it back with a mosh pit so that i have no no one to thank but you all for for doing that and uh, i'm looking forward to this next one again it's going to be the same just the same deal um we're going to be playing isaac beforehand and we're going to be playing Isaac afterward just as a, kind of an incentive for people to stick around and kind of support the uh, the sponsored segments, you know. Of course, if you don't like Raid or, you know, it's not your jam, then you don't have to watch. It's very, very simple. But for those of you who do and those of you who did in the last stream, uh, thank you very much. We had a lot of people sign up, and uh, we, have a, we have a very active, very, very active clan in the game right now, which is just awesome. So I'm looking forward to it. So that will be happening tomorrow at 5 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Eastern, and 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time here on YouTube. So I just wanted to make that announcement before I forget. I really want to save the Chariot card here for the Lamb. Great block by Ball Bandages there. We cannot afford to take any more hits. This is always the risk coming down to Shoal here with low damage. Okay, we took two hits there. Not the greatest. Hopefully, D. Bizzle pays this one back. He did. Thank you, D. Bizzle. Big time play, son. Probably not going to get anything out of these unless it's like nine lives or something. Um, Happy to have a ding dong, though. Happy to have a ding dong. It essentially takes one heart away, but it gives us a massive damage and movement speed boost. So we'll definitely take that. Forget me now. I mean, if we had the HP for sure, but just got to close out the deal here now, and that's that'd be it. Happy to have some more movement speed. Our movement speed wasn't insanely low. It was just kind of low. And this is where D Bizzle gets to kind of drive us home here. I think for rooms like these where we have the more annoying bosses, getting them dispatched is going to be, as soon as possible, is going to be important. Because if an enemy's dead, they can't deal damage to you. That's 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 how it works. Quite a simple concept. You go into the wrong area. If we can get to land with this amount of HP, as well as having the reverse chariot card, we'll, we'll be fine. Now, fighting double super greed with this damage is not what I wanted to do. Especially without without having Jello, so you can keep the quarter. Okay, so yeah, we we cannot have any more rooms like that. Didn't actually think the secret room was gonna be there. It might as well not have been. Um It's really hard for me not to just rip Jello every single room. Empress card. You one of them dead. And another dead end. All right. All right. Especially against Daddy RNG. All right, there we go. It's the uh, 
the, uh, you know, pretty much the worst possible way we could have gone, as always. Just how it works. But we gotta do it. All right, there we go. Now it's time to go to the real side of the map. This is where the charm effect's really going to help us out. So I go back to our play of getting Venus. Right, can we stop getting these dark ones here? That'd be great. You bizzle, we need you to need you to step it up, son. You've been you've been doing good. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about the job you've been doing, but now's the time when champions are made. What in the hell is this room? Yeah, six six champion polycephalus now. Now we're getting a little, a little ridiculous here, game. Um e bizzle, that's like like three in a row now, son. We need you to need you to step it up. I'm doing my part trying to avoid all this damage. The least you could do is pay us back. Check for the super secret room real fast. I'm not convinced. Okay. So I think what we do is we go in, we nuke. We nuke Lamb as fast as possible, and then we rip the reverse chariot card on phase two and just hope that we have enough DPS to do it. Now, with the charm effect of Venus, though, he might end up just yeeting himself out of here. Just going to let Jello kind of do its thing. There we go. There we go. No victory lap. I'm happy. I'm happy with that because, man, that was uh, that was a little bit tense at the end. I'm not gonna lie, but we end up getting the dub, mostly thanks in part to the big time plays of D Bizzle. I mean, you, you got you got to give him credit. Infamy honestly also did a lot of work as well as Infestation too, and then Jello was kind of the the closer there. But a little bit risky going down the shoal. I think it still was worth it after we got Skinny on Mushroom to to correct our tears rate. So. If you enjoyed that video, everyone, and the run, make sure you click the like button, leave a comment down below. Again, hope your Christmas breaks have been going awesome so far. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow for the Rage Shadow Legends stream. Should be a lot of fun. Your question of the episode today is going to be, who was your MVP of this run? Was it D-Bizzle? Was it Skinny Odd Mushroom? Was it Infamy? Post them in the comments down below. That'll let me know that you actually watched the entire video. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Alyssa and Squeegee. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.